Hey guys, we take here at Blueberry Hill. So this is uh, September 8th to the 13th. Actually the 14th. I'm going to do a last little uh, video on the 14th. Anyway, I'm here. I'm doing the stair treads. Um, we paid for and opted to uh, get 15 stairs. Um, and uh, they were 42 inches wide. These are quite expensive blocks of wood. They're red oak, one and a half inch thick by 11. And uh, I cut off a few inches of that. Uh, we made them 37 inches wide to fit on the stairs nicely. Uh, here I'm doing a bevel cut on the back side which goes against the uh, two angle irons, uh, sorry, C-channels that hold the, the main part of the frame of the stairs up. Uh, this was a little bit too much for my saw and then I kind of struggled with it a little bit. I went slow, I went fast, um, I changed the blade uh, and then the motor went ping and uh, that was the end of that. So after seven treads I had to quit and I uh, had to order a new saw which is going to take a week, week and a half to get. Nobody has them locally. I have no idea why people, I mean, it's still an issue with supply and demand, I suppose, whatever. Um, majorly inconvenient, obviously, but uh, I have to delay the work on the, the rest of the stair treads for later. I will come back and uh, do a small dress up ed edge work on the stair treads just to, to, since I have them back here. I'll do some router work in a little bit. But anyway, continuation of the stair treads later on. Well, that was fun. <laughs> you saw me doing a, a couple of treads for the stairs. I decided to do those. It's not necessarily going to do them right now, but I want to get them out of the way. They just piled up in the garage, so I want to get them up before, finish them, put them up. Call it good. I made it through, let's see, six, six full ones. And the seventh, my uh, saw finally, I think I burnt the motor up. So um, I probably had it for 15 plus years, maybe more. Um, he was showing some signs of wear, but guess what? I can't finish that job. Uh, I'm gonna still finish the six stairs that I have, uh, just because um, and I, I can actually get that rolling and uh, put, them, put them aside. Anyway, uh, Monday the, the other saw comes in, so I have to order a new saw. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while, and this just kind of led to that. So welcome to spending more money for not a whole lot, but there it is. Anyway. I keep breaking tools, <laughs> just buying new ones. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's going okay. Um, I'm beveling, you saw me bevel the backside uh, that goes on the stair stair tread against the, the main frame of the stairs. And then we're gonna uh, round, round over all the edges with a router. I'll do that on the six steps that I have. And then uh, we'll, we'll do the rest on Monday when we get the new saw. Um, hopefully that'll work a lot better. Uh, there have been some issues with this saw for um, actually guiding um, as well as the, the motor. It's been, I've, I've been working it hard over the years and uh, it finally, you know, blew, blew it up. So it is what it is and I, I have smooth uh, saw blade. I don't have a cross, actually this is oak, so it's, it's kind of hard, but I'm cutting uh, with the grain and when you cut with the grain, you actually need a little bit more of a saw, uh, less teeth, uh, so you can get this, the sawdust out of the way, but it is what it is. Anyway, later. There, I'm going to finish up the, the rounding of the edges on the, uh, the stair treads. Just get a preparation for uh, when I get the other saw in, and I can I can move a little quicker. Uh, then we'll do a little sanding, and then we'll probably use the, uh, the Rubio Monocoat to actually put on the uh, stair treads uh, as well. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, by the way, this is uh, the I'm making this video on the 14th. Um, I did not get the saw four days ago like I expected. So September 10th, I decided to start doing the tile work. Uh, Angie and I went and bought the tiles the day before. Uh, went to uh, floor and decor, bought a bunch of stuff, uh, basically to do all the bathrooms. And here I am doing the first layer of tile on the, uh, I'll call it the basin floor, the uh, the shower. You can see it's slanted, so uh, we have to cut the tiles accordingly. And I'm using my laser level. You can see the red line on the bottom there. That's going to be the top of the tile, and uh, just keep things level. So this was the, this is the hard part. This is where you have to kind of hang the tile first row. This has to be nice and level. Um, so it took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but that was the, uh, the hardship of this whole thing. But the laser level makes it real nice, so it's actually uh, pretty effective. I, I use it pretty much all the time anyway. But uh, it helps you do the guide guide tile, I'll call it. And then from there, it goes pretty easy. So just rinse and repeat here. Um, we had to cut, about half the tiles were cut uh, slightly, and then put in place, of course. So once the main row was uh, kind of set, we waited for a few minutes for it to set a little more. Uh, the mortar we're using is, is pretty cool. It's a poly blend, some blah, blah, blah. Anyway, stuff really sticks. 
So the first row wasn't a big deal, um, but once we did that, then we started piling the uh, 4x4 uh, travertine polished tiles on, on the wall, and that went very easy. Um, it's just a you know 4x4, you need to, what, nine of them for a foot, so it takes a little while. Um, not a big deal. We did the, the one wall, most of the one wall uh, that day, and then I came back the next day to finish it and do the pony wall. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, the eighth of an inch was fun uh, for the more uh, the, the the joint for the grout, um, and uh, that should work pretty nicely, hopefully. Anyway, mostly straight. <laughs> I'm not a pro towel guy. Uh, here I'm using uh, that that edge you saw me putting up. That's the first time I'm using this. Uh, it's a metal edge, it's quite expensive. They're almost 30 bucks a hit, um, and basically you just stick it to the wall with mortar, and then it makes a really nice fine edge. We match the color of it perfectly with the tile. Well, perfectly. It's close. Um, but it makes it look a lot better than uh, we thought it would because um, when you cut uh, certain tiles, you, the edge is nothing like the tile itself. Travertine's pretty good for that. You can actually polish it out a little bit and make it look nice, but the edge makes it nice and straight um, and uh, you, you just grout it up to that and everything's nice and nice and true. So anyway, turned out pretty good. We like it. Uh, here I'm continuing the, uh, the main part of the wall. I think Angie left already, so I'm doing, doing a solo. I go about two feet more, and then I quit that day, and I'll come back the next day and make, make it all work. Here, I'm almost finished uh, doing tile work for, for that day. Uh, this took a while. This took, um, I'll say like four hours or something, three or four hours. Uh, I'm not sure why it goes so slow, but you know, a few cuts here and there, everything takes time. But uh, just uh, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And I uh, just keep saying that to myself. But slow go, everything's working out pretty good. And then uh, the next day I'll come back and start doing the pony walls. And we'll finish that wall and uh, the pony wall. So, making progress. Sorry, I'm doing the pony walls. You can see the, uh, the laser level again. I have to do uh, almost every one of the tiles here was cut. Of course, then we hang them, um, and then we start. Uh, that's our true line. So I have to make that right. Um, put plenty of mortar on there, and then stick everything down, and then continue with the wall. So uh, super critical line. Um, and of course, because it's a slanted uh, floor uh, for the drain, uh, we're not having glass or shower doors or anything here. This is just going to be drain. Uh, open shower and the water just goes to the drain and everything's good. Here's so me putting up that metal corner uh, edge again. I, I kind of dig it now. Um, we have them in the other bathroom too. They're going to be uh, kind of a gray color uh, that goes with the uh, gray theme of uh, those tiles. We'll show you that in a few days here. So this goes pretty quick. It's, you know, when the smooth wall uh, just cuts on the very edge there where the metal uh, edging is and the rest is just slapping tiles on the wall. So this went really quick. Um, you know, the more you do it, the faster you kind of get and still make it work pretty pretty quickly. But anyway, rinse and repeat. That's the theme of the day. It's almost finished. Uh, so I usually make, make sure I have a good section uh, for the finished part so I don't have to sit there and, and uh, try to do some cuts at the very end or flat, put some uh, mortar on a couple tiles. I like to do the whole thing, um, pre-cut pre everything and just load them in there. So that makes it much smoother, easier, and the mortar does not set before you put the towel on. One more pony wall. This is a short one, of course. I uh, still have to cut almost every one of these tiles. I think the ones in the corner might not have been cut, but anyway, uh, again, true line. And we're making the, uh, the the bottom of the tiles, where you see the line, that's level across all the walls, so just to make it look nice and consistent. So when you look at it, you don't see some weird edge, uh, you know, tile offset or anything like that. Everything from the shelves on uh, makes sense and uh, uh, matches up. So I have a metal strip, uh, you see it on the, the edge of the pointy wall on the left side of it. There's a little metal strip as well. So this took a couple of cuts, one solid piece and then uh, uh, an inch or inch and a quarter inch wide. Uh, edge piece and line everything up. You can see the lines kind of continuing with the tiles so everything works together. Anyway, that's it for that. Yay! So hey guys, you take here at Blueberry Hill. So this is uh, August 13th. Um, just continuing on the tile work. Uh, this uh, special cabinet guy was here yesterday. Uh, Luke came over, 
finished up all the doors, uh, finished the drawers in the bathrooms on the vanity, cut them in a U shape. One of them we deleted because there's no point in putting it under the sink. There's no room in there. So the middle bathroom doesn't have a, a middle drawer, it has side drawers, no big deal. Um, we finished up the master, uh, both vanities there, and then uh, our spare one in uh, what we call the apartment. Um, and then he tidied up all the doors and made sure everything was uh, nice and level and uh, did all the tool kick. So we're good to go on that. That's another thing checked off the list, yay. Um, I'm working on, uh, for the first time, penny tiles. They call them button tiles, penny tiles, whatever. Um, I'm gonna show you how I cut them. I kinda looked it up on YouTube as well. Um, so freehanding it. I'm gonna do a technique with tape and uh, use tobacco boards. The tile saw I have um, has kind of fairly big space between um, where the blade runs, about that wide, and that's almost as wide as the penny tile, so it's kind of a plain one there. I used a piece of old wood, put them together, put the saw blade in the middle so the tile can move around. And I'm going to use a um, the grout spreader uh, to actually hold the tile while I cut. It'll be easier uh, doing that than uh, trying to use my fingers right by the saw. But anyway, I'll show you that in a minute, and uh, we'll get to go. So cutting the penny tile was kind of fun with the saw. The sled has about a half inch groove in the middle where the saw blade runs. Uh, a little bit too fat for uh, doing penny tiles because they're, they're a little bit bigger than a half inch. But anyway, so I put those two pieces of wood down, put some tape on the tile, and then uh, ran it through with the float holding everything together, and that worked pretty well. So uh, didn't need to do that many cuts, but uh, at the same time, so the pennies don't move around, that was the best way for me to do that. test fit everything before I started uh, doing the mortar, um, of course the drain was the, the, the fun part. Um, I pulled basically um, the solid tiles out from where the drain is and then later on cut little pieces. Here I'm making a little map where I have to cut stuff. But uh, basically I mark them and then I go to the saw and cut them all up. And then I, when I start gluing everything down, um, I fit the small pieces around the drain. I put the drain back in just so I know where I'm, well, of course it's, it gets stuck to the, the, the floor. but. Uh, and here I uh, put quite a bit of mortar down just so I can uh, level everything out with the tile and the drain. So important step. Um, I didn't show it on, on, I don't think I showed it on the video, but I had to take out the two, two tiles that are around the drain, go wash them, and then put a little bit more mortar down uh, before I finished it up. So uh, you don't see that on the video, but that was a misstep on my part. I had to raise it about uh, roughly about an eighth of an inch of uh, thicker mortar uh, just so it levels it out real nice. And then you saw me putting little pieces down and I moved on forward from there. So once, once this was done, it went really easy because most of the uh, items were very flat, um, solid uh, sheets of the stuff. It's a one foot uh, sheet. Uh, the only other part that I had to cut was uh, the 20 wall behind me. And that wasn't too bad either, so that's only four feet, I think, five feet. So five, five sets of tiles have to get uh, cut pretty easy. Anyway, uh, again, rinse and repeat, my favorite term. Um, just keep on going. So we're filling up the uh, propane for the first time. So the guys are here to fill it up and they're going to pressure test everything. And we should be good to go. That was fun with the Bubba Got Gas. They tested everything. We fired up the stove. Everything was great. So here I'm doing, uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the uh, step down. And we're basically just going to hang tile over the edge. Uh, here you see me, I, I, I pre-cut everything on the right side. And now I'm just going to go to town uh, laying everything down and gluing it down uh, with the mortar. So one strip, two strips at a time. I think I go one strip at a time just to make it uh, uh, manageable. Um, and moved on from there. So I forgot to turn the camera on when I was doing the, uh, the fit up for this, but here I am doing the 
Basically, I do a little bit of mortar work on the edge, make it nice and flat. I wait for about 15, 20 minutes for it to set. And then I come back and start hanging tile over the edge and uh, finishing that, that up. Whew, well that was a chore. So I forgot to turn the camera on while I was doing the little uh, edge on the step into the, to the shower. Uh, this is what it looks like at the moment. I got some cleaning to do. I got a lot more mortar through the, uh, the pen tile uh, than I wanted. So I'm going to have to that up before I do the thin set. A couple of spots here and there that are like that. Not, not too bad. It's not that hard to create up. It's just, you know, something you got to do. Anyway, I'll do that tomorrow. So the thin set's coming in. It's kind of a, uh, uh, I don't want to say cool, but it's kind of a, on the browner side for this shower. And in the other showers, they're doing a gray theme, so that's gonna uh, be, I think, an iron and a pewter, something like that. So, whatever those colors really mean, who knows? Anyway, we got a uh, good news. Oh, we had propane today, so we actually have the stove working. Let me just uh, run you through the giant mess we have here. Fridge is working great. Here's the stove. Let me see if I can get a burner going. Like we really care. So hopefully, it'll light up. Supposed to, there it goes, there's that one. Oh, you're supposed to push it. I don't even know how to use the, uh, the stove. But anyway, so we have propane, yay, that works. The propane oven and stove. We thought it was electric stove. Not, uh, here's dishwasher. Uh, it's all hooked up, running just fine. It's, uh, everything is a Samsung. Um, we're anti LG products, so it is what it is. Uh, we've had, uh, my, I've had a fair share of running with the LG products. I don't care what they build, never buying any of their products ever again. Um, I have to fix them. Uh, everything we bought, I have to fix immediately within a year. So hopefully the Samsung will do better than that. Who knows? Stories go, they might not be any different, but who knows? Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, we do have hot water. Let me wind in the tank, this is running. So yay, we got hot water. That's on, everything's on. Uh, some of the cold water's not on, the showers are off still. Um, so, um, in fact, some of the hot water tees into the hot shower, so I can't, um, all the valves are off. So we're doing it water peeking everywhere. But aside from that, we got hot water. We can actually take a shower. Once I finish the master bath, a shower this week in a day or two. Um, the fence set will be tomorrow, let it dry, then we'll have to seal it. I think you're supposed to wait a few days for that. So we're still going to steal it. Um, it's travertine, polished travertine, very smooth, um, we love the look. We have a sealer for it and once I finish uh, everything, doing the grout, etc., then I'll do a, a final seal on it and then we can technically take a hot shower for the first time in, well, in a house, our house, in three years. Uh, the RV works fine, it's got hot water, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to have a beer, so I'm done. Anyway, later. Ciao. So I'm back on uh, September 14th here. I'm doing the uh, the grout on the uh, floor. Actually, I'm doing the grout everywhere. Um, first, I, I started with the floor because uh, I was kind of worried about dropping uh, the grout from the uh, walls into the crevices when I'm not ready to actually do that. So I decided to do the floor first, um, clean that up, and then I started doing the walls. Uh, the fun part is, um, you won't see it here, but, well, you might see it here. I have a bucket later on that it's almost a full bag of grout because I mixed uh, a little bit too much water in there. Uh, and it actually turned out to be a positive thing because I ended up doing all the walls. <laughs> so kind of forced my hand. Uh, you'll see me moving around. I, I use a piece of cardboard uh, from the tile uh, so I can put it on the freshly grouted floor and I move on from there. Anyway, the grout's pretty straightforward. This stuff is uh, some kind of new tech uh, grout. It's not the same old uh, unsanded or sanded grout. Uh, like from Home Depot, it's a little, um, it's got poly junk in it, and um, it's pretty good. It gets nice and hard, um, works great, um, as far as we know, the first time we're using this stuff, but the next day, I mean, you can tell that it's, uh, it's a little better quality than uh, the, the simple stuff they have, uh, the poly blend stuff they have at uh, Home Depot. But anyway, um, it was working pretty good. Uh, you see me going pretty quick with the wall. Uh, it comes off the wall real easy because the uh, it's polished uh, travertine. So once you put it on, um, I had it kind of on the on the wet side, um, so it went into the crevices real nice, and it was fairly easy to wipe off. And uh, 
moving like lightning. Um, here I think I run out of this batch, and now the bucket's full of the next batch. <laughs> And I had to finish basically using it instead of throwing it out, right? So I ended up doing everything in the shower. Which sure is a positive thing. The grad's pretty straightforward. I have a kind of a rubberized float um, and uh, kind of squish it in diagonal for the most most of the time. Um, and then uh, since the tiles are what quarter inch thick, I'm trying to put as much in there as I can. So it uses quite a bit of grout, but it was nice and smooth, easy to wipe off, um, and no issues on the walls whatsoever. The, the, the ground was uh, more fun because I had to, I'm setting on ungrouted in the middle, and the edges are grouted, and, and I did have some stuff fall down, which was easy to wipe off and uh, continue uh, the process. But anyway, uh, rinse and repeat, wax on, wax off. So cleaning grout you know, the, off the tile is pretty straightforward, just need a nice, nice clean uh, sponge. Um, and I do basically a, a rough clean and then I go in and almost every swipe is in the pail, uh, squeeze out most of the water and just do a quick um, run on the tile to keep it nice and, nice and clean. And here I'm doing the, uh, trying to catch up to, you know, so stuff doesn't dry on me. Um, this is the last bit of grout on the step and uh, we wait a few minutes then we clean it up and we're done uh, for this bathroom that is. So, looks pretty good. And then uh, I think Angie, a couple days later, sealed it uh, with the, uh, the tile sealer. Uh, it's good for the grout as well. So it should be nice and waterproofy. And uh, we're almost ready for showers. I'm waiting on the uh, pipe arm for the shower head, and that should be it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you later.